Here comes that guy from <laughs> Dead Man's Curve. Those hooligans. You're all insane. <laughs> we get that a lot. Thank you. Hey. Hi, I'm Dennis Gage, and welcome to My Classic Car. Well, this week we're in Montville, New Jersey, at the world-famous Hot Rod Farm to visit the Dead Man's Curve Car Club. You ever see a car club with this kind of cars, though? No, it's pretty right. crazy. <laughs> I've known these guys for quite a while, and they're one of the more interesting casts of characters I've ever met. Are you all out on the work release thing? The weekend? Probation. Pretty much, yeah. And they build some of the wildest cars I've ever seen. Gasser vets, I just, it, does, it just doesn't seem to go together usually, but for you guys it does. Well, Corvette people hate you. <laughs> right I, off the bat. I believe that. <laughs> so I thought, let's get the guys together and have them bring some of their cars over. And we'll just see what happens. I'm oh, feeling this is kind of a normal time for you guys. So let's see what happens. Why the obsession with gassers? It's just cool. It's just cool. You know? It's just cool. <laughs> it's all about the look. Everything about cars and horsepower and motors and metal working. And this is what we do. We all got our own garages at home, all set up and ready to go. <laughs> you guys live this life. Oh, you? yeah. If you're going to build a gasser, you're hanging with the best. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. But you got to be accepted. I was made, you know? <laughs> it's like one of those things. You all just told me not. Yeah, we like to be different. That about sums it up. Uh, just about sums it up. So, start your engine. Yes. <laughs> On with the show. <laughs> Rich, this is really all your fault. Is that right? Uh, you could say that. You yes. could say that. <laughs> Here at the world famous Hot Rod Farm. And this is one of the cars that started it all. Is that true? Yes, yes. So, Dead Man's Curve Car Club since 78. 1978. When did you build this? Uh, I finished it in 1976. I started in 74, put it on the road in black primer in 75, painted it in my farm barn in 76, and most of it's the original lacquer paint that I did back then. So, I mean, back in 76, and were gassers in this neck of the woods big things? Were other people building these, or were you kind of out there? Well, it was all the rage in the early 70s. Uh, this is a little extreme. It's what, you, it's what you call a street freak. You couldn't get them jacked up high enough back in the day. <laughs> the whole drag race scene in the 60s came over onto the street in the 70s, in the early 70s. So there was a lot of this stuff going on. And, you know, I just basically wanted to look really wild, really cool, and uh, be streetable. And you became kind of the master of these straight axles. Yeah, I've probably done 50 of them or more in cars. A lot of the club guys, a lot for other guys. And uh, we got it down to a science. Yeah, it, it <laughs> works really well. The steering, everything works really good and, on the street. And you will put it on anything from what I've seen. Oh, yeah. You don't, don't, don't care. The it's... crazier the car, the crazier it ends up. You know. <laughs> Raider wheels. Yes. What, what are the odds? You know, yeah. Go figure. Yep. Something I loved ever since I was a kid in the 60s. How long have you been uh, doing the wheels? 20 years. 20 years. Yes. And so what's the engine in this thing? It's a 327 Chevy Corvette motor. Bought it brand new in the crate in really? 1975. Wow. Paid $400 for it. <laughs> Undid the crate. I should have bought 10 of them. But, you know, yeah. I bought one from Chevrolet. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, put it in. Uh, took the uh, double bump heads, put on it. And uh, I've run it over 100,000 miles. We freshened the motor up three years ago. And it You've runs run this over 100,000 miles? Yes. That's, that's 400,000 quarter miles. Yes, there you go. <laughs> yes. That's quite a few. Yeah. How about the hood? I mean, is that something that I can barely see Again, it, by the way? Again, at the time, the L88 hood was all the rage in the okay. early 70s. Oh, yeah, that's what that is, isn't it? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it was an aftermarket. We bonded it onto the steel hood, and it's uh, it's just, I was like teardrop scoop, but I went with the L88, and it's kind of been a signature to this particular car. you got a pretty cushy interior in it for... Yeah, it's a little worn out. Probably needs an upgrade, but... A little, uh, little freshening? Yeah. So this has been rolling around... Montville, New Jersey, since 76. Yes, painted like you see Painted it. like this, yep, just pretty since 76. much. 76, yep. Wow. So that's, that's pretty crazy and pretty wild and out there. But I saw your Woody, that 39 Woody. Yes. Let's go look at that, because that, right. that thing's awesome. Absolutely. This is cool. Now this, this is great. This is a 39. Yes. Right, where'd you find this thing? Because I mean, this looks kind of like how you found it. Yes, 39 Deluxe, found it in a garage in New Jersey. Uh, the fenders were flapping. It was kind of smashed and dilapidated. <laughs> Two years ago, I did this sheet metal over. All the wood's original. Just cleaned it up, put a new roof on it. I wanted the look that a surfer would have found maybe in the garage in the early 60s and went to the beach with the surfboards. 
So, you, look so you haven't gas suited up or anything? No, it's, I actually lowered it, if you can believe that. <laughs> 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 I'm shocked. <laughs> I'm absolutely shocked. <laughs> And, and uh, it's pretty run, running the same engine? Yeah, running? original flathead V8. I just bought a 53 flathead V8 from a pickup truck. I'm going to put two twos on it, aluminum heads, do a full dress flatty. But right now it's a stock motor with a one carburetor. And, and this uh, trim was original to it? <clears throat> yes. Yeah, that's all original. Uh, I polished all the stainless bars on the grill. I redid the, the headlight rings. The yeah. repros don't fit. Mm. Had to redo the old ones. Yeah, I actually got a lot of plans. I want to do the leather interior over, original I, I, leather. I like, I, like the, I like the rugs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, those are the cheap seat covers. It's original. Yes. Yep. And even the wooden, uh, the wooden. Yeah, all door original. Panels? Yep. All original stuff. Uh, yeah, you. I, I can see you going to the beach in this. Absolutely. Do you do, you do much surfing in Jersey? I've done some. I'm not real good at it. <laughs> uh, I, believe it or not, I was up on that. Hanson Superlay board, the, the bright yellow one there, Yeah. long time ago. It's since gotten pretty beat up, schlepping it around the garage and the shop and on and off cars, you know. But uh, it's it's all about the look. And, and, and it's all about, with Dead Man's Curve, it's all kind of about the camaraderie too. This is an interesting bunch of guys. Yes, yep. And, and how did it, you know? Just three guys started it and uh, we just loved all the cars from the early to mid 60s. Um, we love the music, you know, surf music, um, all the hot rods, all the cars from the 60s, and uh, it just grew. It grew. We and you're all... still doing it? Yes. You're still doing it? Yes. Since 78? Yes. Unbelievable. <laughs> you're my hero. <laughs> well, you're my hero. Thank you, sir. <laughs> now, Ed, this is one of the original cars in the club, is that right? Correct, yes. So, built when? Uh, I got it in 1978. I traded my 55 Chevy for it originally. It didn't look like this, obviously. No. I mean, was it a stock uh, vet or? No, it, it was an old drag car. It had a uh, 427 uh, 69 L88 motor oh, in that's it. That's pretty cool. But it was it was never finished. Uh huh. You know. And um, then I took it all apart and I took the engine out, which I shouldn't have, but <laughs> um, and I put a small block in it. But this thing's been rolling around since the late since, '70s, just like this too, just current. like Rich's. Rich's Basically, yes. One of the original cars. You must be one of the original members. Yeah, yeah, one of the founding members. Yep. Wow. Me, Rich, and another guy. And you guys just live to tell about it. I'm yeah, just... yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Fortunately, yes. So was she was she lifted like this? Was she raised like this when you got it? When I got it, no. Um, it originally had stock suspension. But, yeah. Uh, I had the spacer plates in it to you drop the front end down, and then years later, I was like, it's not high enough. We always, always wanted to do a gasser. A so gas or vet. Gas a gas or vet, vet. So we went even higher. And you, so you're still running a 350 or? It's a 327. 327. Two 500 carburetors. And it looks like a period manifold there yep. too. Where do you guys that, find this stuff? Where do you find digging. this stuff? Digging. Dig, dig, dig. We huh? dig, dig, dig. Exactly. Jeez. Didn't change the interior much? No, it's basically a stock interior. I changed the color to rugs. You know, I chromed out the dash. Yeah. Because I saw that in a 1967 magazine of an old drag car that had that done. Everybody said, you don't want to chrome it because the sun, when you yeah, drive it, it's going to reflect. Well, yes, I understand that, but I just move my head a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> the roll bar is an old moon roll bar, I was told. But I've known only one other one in existence. So original founding member, um, hung with this group since 78. Uh, what would you say characterizes Dead Man's Curve? The friendship. Yeah. Just how well everybody gets along. Um, like I said, it's, it's all friends before car club. And then if everybody's into the same thing, we just go from there. And it's all about the cars. It's all about the cars. So 59 vet that's been totally gassed, and I'm sure the Corvette guys are just thrilled about that. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. They oh, love yeah. it. They just <laughs> totally love it. But I gotta tell you, it's, it's one bad vet. Thanks. Vet, Thank I you. love it. Thanks, Ed. Thank you. <laughs> You're insane. Yep. And you remember, we're watching my classic car with. So Mary, when I when I met you at the Wild Hot Rod party, and then we saw you again at the Wild Hot Rod weekend, mm -hmm. uh, you, you know you had the, the the green willies. I mean, it's a spectacular car. <laughs> yeah. You said you brought that again today. Yep. As well as three other cars. So so let's let's start here because Falcons are near and dear to my heart. There you, you got go. a '63 260, really near and dear to my heart. <laughs> but this is an interesting car. Not only is it a gasser, which is pretty in insane, but it's a Futura Sprint, Sprint Futura, right? right? Futura it's both Sprint. of them. Yep. Great little car. 
And because it's a Sprint, it's got the bucket seats. Because it's a Future, it's like dressed up a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So why'd you gas her the Falcon? Well, I was inspired by an old ISCA show car called Tarantula. And uh, I like the look. And, uh, you know, we, we really into the gassers. And I, you know, I figured I'd like... Uh, like, why not? Why not? Why not? Exactly. <laughs> why not? <laughs> I love it, though. I love it. But then, but then you bring this baby. This, this, this is awesome, man. This is a fun car. I wanted to have something that we could just it's like tool around with that night. It's a Manx. It's really a Manx. It's a 1965 Manx. Yep. Where did you find this? These are hard uh, to come Actually by. in Queens. Queens, really? New York. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. I had to have it. And I, I did a few mods and uh, I just having fun with it, you know? It's well, a good it's a good tool around everyday fun car. A fun car and a true classic. But I tell Absolutely. you. Absolutely. The one that just knocked me out is the tub. The tub. The tub. You know, the, the tub. You know, yeah. yeah, the tub. Let's go look at the tub. All right. Yeah, this is it. <laughs> this is this is a showstopper. This thing is crazy. This is so 60s extreme, if yeah, you ask me. That's the whole idea. The tub. So what's the deal? What do we got? Well, it's a it's a uh, 1923 T touring car. It's a uh, it's a glass body. It's a Steve Archer body. He only made like a hundred of them, so it's a very rare like, glass like body. Like when? In like, 1969. 69. 69. Yep. The car was built in 1972 by famed uh, hot rod builder, Randy Bianchi, and it went through a few hands, and another club member, actually, Dave Hanley, uh, had bought it uh, in the early 90s. He did the radicalness to it, and then I just, and then I took it from there, and, and I did it my way, uh, and then I redid it about five years ago to this way. So, um, What's this setup? That is a weigh-in, yeah. six-deuce carburetor setup on top of a blower, as you can see. Uh, I had made these pipes with 67 and a half degree bend uh, for the scoops. I wanted something higher to raise over the roof. Of course. To give it to the radical look. Of course. And I uh, love how the pinstriped inside too. Yeah, I mean, I had awesome. that all done. Uh, actually, the guy who originally built it, Randy Bianchi, came back and he, he, he tuned up the carburetors and made all this linkage and made it actually work on the road. And they're not leaking. They're not leaking. I can't and, But that it. wasn't easy. <laughs> that was not easy. Uh, it took some stuff. time, but we got it straightened out. Thing runs like, like a clock. You're not a tall guy, thank God. Because, no, thank because God, you couldn't, right. you couldn't sit in here. Otherwise. Well, you could. Uh, you actually, yeah, you, it's actually comfortable once you're in here because it's actually a stretch. The seat was taken back. This was okay. originally was a four-seater tub car. Uh -huh. So uh, Dave, originally when he had gotten the car, he had put the seat back more so you'd have more leg room in here and made a storage in the back. And I had made this all this uh, compartments in here for storage and whatnot. Is, is that the gas fill? That's a gas fill in there that fills it up. This right. is so cool. You guys are thank so... Thank you. <laughs> insane you're all you're well, all just totally nuts yeah we like we like to be different you know we're yeah. and and uh and i think this uh that would kind of make that statement that would then this this right? car makes a statement it really definitely does. Makes uh, and statement. it's a fun car to drive too the tub the tub the, 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 the tub. tub love it yes well jeff this looks pretty healthy what's what's your history with the club well i'm actually the fourth member really all right there was a uh, rich ed and a friend of ours keith that started the club back like in 78. 78. Right. And I came around in 78 and a half, 79. And I was always into cars. And I met these guys hanging out at Burger King. And, uh, <laughs> and the cool. rest, as I say, well, yeah, is history. history. That's right. <laughs> exactly right. So this is gorgeous. I mean, this is one shiny, shiny ride for this group. Thank of course, you. we got some shiny rides in this group. What do, <laughs> what do we have? 32. Right. What's the engine? It's a small block uh, Chevy with a wheel blower on it. It's pushing about 500 and something horsepower, That's I guess. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's a Rear wheels, what are the odds? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Imagine that. What are the odds? <laughs> it even has slicks, I'd imagine. <laughs> I can't imagine. Um, most of the work was done right here at the uh, Hot Rod Farm. The, actually, the welding and everything. Is, is, that, is that really what you guys, I mean, do you really hang out here and just work on each other's cars? Well, um, to an extent. Rich does most of the welding here uh -huh. for us. He's the uh, in-house welder. welder. Yeah. So he does a lot of it. And then uh, he helps us fabricate the stuff. And then we take it back to our own garage, most of us and finish whatever we're gonna do, put the motor in, you know. So you have a um, shop too that you work out of your own place? It's, yeah, I, yeah, I guess it's a shop, 10 car garage, which is, yeah, yeah, yeah it's a shop, I yeah, guess. Yeah, I'd, call, I'd, I'd call that a shop. Yeah, between <laughs> the contracting business and this, it's pretty well full. <laughs> <laughs> so all the chroming and everything, you, you know, did you build all this stuff too, or? Yeah, yeah we, you know, we, uh, um, fabricate it up, uh, rough it up and everything, send it out to the chromer, and it's like, ah, mm, might as well chrome that. You'll see, if you come to my shop and see the satellite that I'm building, you'll see it's like, eh, might as well chrome that, and it's like, might as well. <laughs> okay, that's yeah, it. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna polish this, and it's like, if it's not shiny, it's not good. You know? you're, you're, <laughs> shiny, you're definitely a shiny guy. And man, you're a red interior guy, too. That is wow. red. Is that, is that like a Corvette red that's or something? A, well, what we call lipstick red. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right. I love um, it, man. 
Rich was like, he was a little nervous. He's like, oh, I didn't know how that's gonna look with the, and we were gonna put flames on this car. And he goes, man, it looks so sweet like that. He goes, let's just leave it. Let's not put flames on this thing. It's just, it does, um, I mean, it's yeah. clean. It's just, this thing yeah. is really, yeah. really clean. Is this an original body or is this? A, it's a Brookville body. It's a Brookville, huh? Yeah. Um, oh, that's that's, that's yeah. new metal. That's kind of yeah. a nice way to go. Yeah, yeah. So we, uh, we did her upright and, uh, yeah. Man. Just your basic black. <laughs> and everything's and a single strand oh, of pearls. Right. <laughs> and, and everything's got, well, almost everything's got to have a roll bar in our, our cloud, as you probably noticed as you look around. <laughs> Actually, with, with some of the horsepower you guys are pumping out, it's not a bad idea yeah, to have, yeah, have exactly. a roll bar. Yep, exactly. And this is definitely a good bunch of guys to, to hang around they're, with. They're great guys. We, uh, you know, if somebody needs to some help or something, we're all we're all there to chip in or whatever, and uh, whether like, it's a build or it's or crazy. What. I mean, the, there's there's the Wild Hot Rod party that happens here. That's I was here a few years yeah, ago. Yeah, that's a blast. Yeah, now oh, you're yeah. doing the Wild Hot Rod weekend. Yeah, which is exploded. exploded. Oh my God. Yeah. When, when, since you were there, we doubled the capacity. We just blew it. We blew yeah. right out of water it's last cool, year. It's cool though. I mean, yeah. it's really cool. Yeah, it, it is. And, uh, and we can't figure it out, but hey, hey it's happening. Go with it. Just go with it, man. <laughs> that's it. We're going with that's, the flow. That's a sweet ride, man. This is a sweet 32. But but wait, there's more. You have another one here. Yes, I do. I it's got a, a my, totally different theme. Yeah. My original car that I actually, actually I bought after I got in the club. I had a Nova at first, and then we went to that. <laughs> that. Let's go look at it. Wow, 64 vet. So you've had this for a while. Yeah. Like, um, since like what's a while? 79. That's a while. I believe, yeah. <laughs> uh, $5,000. I think I paid for it. Which Actually, was a lot of money. Was a lot, that was, was a lot of money. money. Never hit. Um, did a little bit of work to it. Um, restored it. Kind of was was really good shape. I had it. It was actually red, and uh -huh. I kind of got lambasted a little bit for painting it black. But I just like black vehicles, as you can uh, see. Apparently so. <laughs> apparently so. Is it still stock engine and everything? Or um, you, you pretty, pretty well stock. Whatever. It, it's a little dirty right now, but it's it's again, it's got the chrome. <laughs> yeah, there's some chrome in there, Joe. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm shocked. Yeah. <laughs> And you, you've really had this for a long, long time. Yeah, huh? I have. As a matter of fact, um, I met my wife and it kind of, I can't sell it, kind of has a little bit to do with her mm. um, and the whole uh, marriage thing. Uh, it was a blind date and she, she really didn't like me. She, in fact, she hated me on my first date. <laughs> and, uh, a lot of times that's a good sign. Yeah. <laughs> and she goes, uh, uh, the guy I'm going to marry is gonna, has a red vet. And I go, I just happen to have one. No, you don't. I took her out to my garage, which was separate from my house at the time. I said, this, that's not yours. I go, absolutely is. And she won't let me sell it. And we're married 31, 31, year, 31 years this week. I guess the only thing I don't understand, you've been with the band. Right? <laughs> you've, been with the, you've been with the band since like 78. And neither of these are gassers. I am, that's the one I have in the garage right now uh -huh. that I'm building. Uh -huh. <laughs> I knew it. Um, found an oddball. Uh, 66 uh, Plymouth Satellite out in California. Oh man. So I had it delivered right here to the world famous hot rod farm. To, to the world famous hot rod <laughs> right? farm. And I wasn't here because I was away for the weekend, go figure. And Rich goes, you got to see this thing, Jeff. I bought it sight unseen. It was immaculate, not a bit of rust on it. It had so much undercoating that had the original overspray still underneath or whatever wow. once I scraped it off. So wow. uh, and and some, that's going to be your gas. That that's it. That's it. It's in the <laughs> shop right now, and it's almost done. It'll be coming out for a Wild Weekend this year. Oh man! And uh, I might have to get by and see that. You might I have just to. Might have to get by and see. You that. might have to. Cool stuff, my man. All right. Good talking to you, and uh, um, thanks for coming out to the world famous Hot Rod Fest. Hey, how could I? How could I not? <laughs> <laughs> and a beautiful day in Joyce. Beautiful day. Joyce. <laughs> so, Danny, you brought three cars today. I right? got three. Not yeah. Three. This this one this one's very nice. I only had this. This one I had about 10 years, and like all three cars have either been barn finds or garage finds. Really? So, yeah. I mean, this looks like an old drag car, actually. It was. So, what's the engine? 400. Yeah. With an old, I mean, that high rise manifold is looked like from back in the day. It's from the 60s. It's period correct, you know, with the duels. And, uh, you know, everything here is just stuff that you would build back in the day. I mean, you got a stock dash in the thing still? Yeah. Yeah. It's all stock, and look at the gauges. I mean, they're the original old 60s sun gauges. Well, how about the seats though? They're, where are they from? Those things, if you could see, they were painted. They're, <laughs> out, of an old, they're out of a Camaro. <laughs> Which, know? of course, with the upholstery, they call it dye. Yeah. It's paint. Yeah, what do you call it? It's paint. They never dyed those. And I, I, like, I like Buddy Holly oh, back yeah. here. Yeah, <laughs> you hit the brakes. His lights come uh, yeah. up. No, his eyes come on. His eyes, his eyes light up. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, what? When, it, when it's rumbling, <laughs> but he talks to you. He sings to you all the way I to a show. It. And it's got three and a half inch off the headers instead of like the normal. That's why it sounds the yeah, way it Yeah, it rumbles. Does. Yeah, it really does. Yeah, we did it special. Right then off you got, the headers. Then you got the, the Rat Fink uh, this tribute was, back here? Yeah. This is uh, for Big Daddy. This Ed is Ross, big, right? Yeah, absolutely. That's what I grew up with, all this building his models and everything like that, right down to the uh, 
You got the you got, I got the, the tattoo. tattoo. <laughs> I got the rap string tattoo right on me. You really okay. you're serious. You're yeah. serious. Joel Solpe painted it on there for me. Man. Uh, so is this? Yeah. I mean, it there it is. Four original banger. four banger right there. This there was nothing to it when I got it. There was mice living inside it. We took inside. It it. Yeah, we took it completely apart. Um, that's the original right there. Wait, we what's cleaned this? it off. That's just this is back in the day. This, this is a thirty-one. This is where they stored tools. Really? Yep. This was for tools when guys were working on it, and they put their tools right up here, and it was easier for them to work. This is another one that looks just amazingly solid, but this came out of a yep. barn or somewhere? Yeah, believe it or not, this is from the Conklin family, where we're here today yeah, yeah, at the yeah. Conklin farm, yep. And it was in a barn, and everything you see, you know, I just pinstriped it, cleaned it up, and threw some rat fink memorabilia you in must, there. I mean, you've, you've redone the interior. I mean, that can't be original, right? This is the way I found it, just like this. Man. Yeah, I have no history on this interior whatsoever, yeah, except for all the dust and mice that we're living on. <laughs> Does she run yeah. pretty good, though? Yeah, she starts right up. Yeah, she she purrs, you know, and then, of course. No, oh, it's a rumble seat yeah, car? There's the rumble that, seat. Man, dig it. You know? So. Is this, was this where they, the rear yes. mount for the, this, the spare? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your step for the rumble seat? Oh, yeah, you just, you give it one of these. And you're in. And you were in. Boom. Yep. Okay, one, two, what's the third car? The third car is the Nova. Oh, the Nova, let's go for a walk. Okay. So this this one's uh, not not quite the cream puff that some of the other oh, ones. No, no, <laughs> take, a, take a good look at this. This was found in Yonkers, New York, in a garage. Uh, this guy had it, an old man. Uh, it's basic 100 body. It was a six cylinder, three on the tree and I fell in love with it. But if you look real close at it, there's a lot of dings and dents, you know, it's patinaed. It it's looks like original paint it's though. It's original paint, I haven't done anything to it. Were you doing gassers before you started hanging with the, the Dead Man's Curve guys or is this part of the disease you caught it when you started hanging with them? No, my disease started when I was in the 60s <laughs> when I was a kid. You, you've oh, had yeah. it for a long time. And then, you know, when I hooked up with these guys and I saw Rich's 55, which has been around since 1974, that was it. I mean, you know. Gotta do it. And this is what we do. And this thing's got a 400 in it and with the torque this thing throws. I mean, we did everything, like everything I did here, these are all hand built and stuff like you would back in the day. Yeah, man. I mean, we so you flattened we, them out? Yeah, we flattened them out. And the reason I did this, and we reinforced the body underneath, this motor's so strong in this car. Kind almost, of flexy? Oh yeah, almost blew the black, back window out. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. so how about you, so the axle and everything, where, where'd that setup come from? Did you, Rich did it. Did he, did he make it? I mean, yeah. And that's what Rich specializes in, is the straight axle look. He did the whole underneath for me. Man, oh man. Yep. I mean, it looks, I look yeah. like one serious I got, serious I got Nova, 373s man. in the rear. And again, I have the uh, Cherry Bomb setup, and it's loud like got, the 55. You got dents just in the right places. Oh, yeah. I, I haven't touched the body. What you see and right you here. You haven't touched the interior either, right? No. No, that's all original interior. And I even left this to remember what, <laughs> to remember I, it by. Nobody buys that, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you you got to say. Oh, yeah, but you do get people at shows going. Six cylinder, really? <laughs> uh, no. Yeah. Let me, let me fire it up. <laughs> yeah. No, but it gets a lot of attention, you know, wherever it goes because it's loud and it's got that look. And I just want, I didn't want anything fancy. I just wanted it, you know, plain Jane. I love it. And it rumbles. It rumbles. It rumbles. I dig it. So, Michael, 57 Bird. You yes, know, sir. That's, that's kind of a... Well, there's a lot of different cars here. <laughs> yeah. This, yeah, and you're one of the younger guys in the club. Is I am. I'm, I'm, How'd you pull that off? I've been around these guys since I was 14 years old. Uh, wow. My father was into cars. He brought me around the farm. I got to know Rich, and uh, I just start and hanging poof, out with you're them. here. Yeah, yeah. Well, this I've is an interesting here. one, though. I mean, these aren't usually hot rodded. No, no, no. So, it's it's usually not. Um, I, I found the car. It was actually for sale here at the Spring uh, Fever Show three years ago. I, I wanted to do a, a T-Bird as a gasser or, or a hot rod. After the show was over and everything like that, I started thinking about it and I called Rich up. I said, hey, do you know who owned that T-Bird that was at the farm? Do you know if it sold? He knew who it was. He knew where it went. So I went there. Mario met me that Monday. Uh, we looked at a whole car over. It needed a few things. It was sitting yeah. for a while. So you're gonna turn it into a gasser? I mean, this Probably. is Man's curve, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's gonna have a straight axle. Is right? it really? Yeah. So you're really gonna do, you're gonna do a gasser out of this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was my intent. It's got a real different look to it. Kind of a funky yeah. look. You know, it's not skirted or anything like that. No. You can have the dog dish, you know, Absolutely. hubcaps. Yeah, it was ordered very bare bones. It was ordered with the, the, uh, the 312 versus the 292 that was standard with it. It had a three-speed overdrive. Um, seat belts and power steering and that was it oh that's that pretty was, cool that man. was it so, from, so what's what's it like hanging with these guys i mean these are these are some characters cool hey, you know they're like my big brothers yeah. you know I, you know i have a big brother but he, these guys are you know they're my big brother you know <laughs> i don't know how else to explain it they're uh, 
Well, they're wild guys. Gonna, they're, they're wild they're, guys. Yeah. If you're going to build a gas, you're hanging with the best. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 37 T Bird. Yep. Pretty cool. Oh, another gasser. What are the odds? What are the odds? <laughs> what are the odds? So, Buick. Yep. Skylark. 1966. 66. Buick. Skylark, two-door hardtop. It was a little old lady's car when we first bought it. Rich, Rich had brought it home one afternoon, <laughs> and uh, I pulled in and said, oh, that's got to have that. Does he do that a lot? He just brings things home? He, yeah, he does that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> one of the things that caught my eye, though, right off the bat, were were these scoops? What, are they from back in the day too? They're not. They're are actually they, not. They're just they're repops, they're repops, but they're cast, so they look pretty cool. Pop the hood. I want to see. Absolutely. Oh, so I mean, so you got the nail head in there? Yeah, it's a uh, 65 uh, 425 Buick nail head. Man, that is a really strong engine. Yeah, it's very strong. And a lot, you, a lot of horsepower, a lot of foot lot of, of torque. torque, a lot of torque. That's things. A lot of torque, and uh, we got a turbo 400 trans from Larry. Put that in there, and uh, just is an automatic, so it's just. Very comfortable to drive. It's a really powerful, fun car to drive. And you can really see the road when you're sitting oh, up. Absolutely. When you're sitting up that high. Yeah, absolutely. Actually. And and is this another uh, rich creation on the yes, axle? Yes, it is. Yeah, we all we all got together with some with some parts and pieces, and everybody helped me. So do, and do that's, a lot what of you, that's what you guys do here. Absolutely. Basically. I mean, you absolutely. Just, you just, everybody everybody shows up, chips in, and helps everybody build cars. Grind, torch, wrench, absolutely. the whole thing. Yeah, it's a good time. Man, I mean, it looks it looks right. And the other thing, I mean. You, you you guys take these cars and you don't do much to the body. I mean, this is again, this is the, the kind of it's the it's the '66 Skylark. Yeah, it's the original paint, original you know body. So and and original interior too. Original interior. You haven't even changed it. You threw a tack no, in. That's really, about it, yeah, right? There's really some, nothing. Some gauges you can trust. What I've always liked about these cars uh, and '66 and '7 in the GM was this flying yes, buttress absolutely. back window. That's just a, that's just the coolest. Absolutely, very cool. Why why the obsession with gassers in this group? Well, but it's just uh, very nostalgic, you know, back in the day, the drag racing. Yeah. It's just cool. It's just cool. You know? <laughs> it's just cool. You know? They're fun cars to build. They're fun cars to ride in, you know, to work on. I really dig how some of you guys don't mess with the paint jobs. So this is what a 66 paint job will look like today. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Man. And how long you been with the club? About eight years. Yeah. What an interesting bunch of characters. We get that a lot. Thank you. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> we haven't heard that before. <laughs> Very interesting. Yeah, Very some interesting. of them, you know, a couple years older than me, but uh, they've they've taught me a lot. You know, it's a good, we have a good, really good time together. Well, and, and here at the world famous Hot Rod Farm. Absolutely. <laughs> man, I love it, man. And it's I heard it. This is a rowdy car. You don't ever take it to track around, do you? No, 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 just, no. It's just for fun. Just Run at the Home Depot, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful, I love it. 66 Skylark. Whew. Uh, another cream puff here, Mike. Uh, <laughs> now this is, most of these things are like hopped up, fire breathing monsters. This is a bit of a different take on it. Yeah, this is, um, you know, it, how I see it is an old 50s, you know, hot rod, an old four banger in there. Yeah. Uh, and, and I wanted to leave it traditional. Uh, you know, everyone asked, when are you going to finish it? And I said, it's done. It's done. What do you, you, know, what do you mean finish? Right? You know, there's, there's other cars I'm working on that'll, you know, they'll be more like some of these other ones that are out here. I've only owned this car 37 years. Got it right out of high school. But this is just a fun car to run around. I, I think I spend more time working on it than driving. That's what other guys have said too. Yeah. In fact, you took some flack from these guys. I don't know. They don't seem like that kind of people. Are no, they? I'm not. No, they're, no, they're, no. All, they're all gentlemen. <laughs> Gen you know. Perfect gentlemen. This trail is around the corner. I always go into some great shops and say, "Sign the flat." <laughs> but but it's, it's a lot of fun. I mean, just earlier this week, uh, head was off it. I had to go through it. Uh, it. It had got some water in it, seized up. So I had it all apart, honed it all out, back together, pistons back in it. So these are actually. Pretty easy to pull apart, put back together, right? Pretty simple. They're they're babbitted bearings, okay. Uh -huh. So as long as they're in good shape, uh, but you can actually drop the oil pan on this on this baby, and with the head off, obviously you can pull the pistons out of it and go in there and, and uh, you know, if your cylinder's in good enough shape, just put a good hone on it and uh, re-ring it and, and put it back together. What's the, what's the carb setup? Well, what, what, first of all, this is a, a, a thirty. It's a thirty-one the car, but it's yeah. a thirty-two uh, model B, you know, thirty-two roaster uh, okay. four banger, uh, and it, it is. Uh, this is an old Zephyr manifold from the 50s, and these carburetors are Stromberg 81s. I mean, oh, everyone, everyone runs little. the 97s, 97s like Rich right. has yeah, and yeah. so on, but, but with 97s, two of them are too large, unless you've got some big cams. You just drowned it. You drown it, exactly. Yeah. So the 81s actually has a 7-8 throttle plate versus a, a, the, uh, a one inch on the 97s, and a small Venturi, so they run real well on there. Where'd you, where'd you find the Zephyr? I mean, that's a 50s piece, uh, you know? One of the fellas, a friend of the club, actually had that 
manifold, and, and I bugged and bugged and bugged them, uh, and, and it finally sold it to me. And right after I bought it, I found another one and it bought me. <laughs> of course, so it always works it's that always way. that way. So it, it, that is a Wee-End high compression aluminum head on there. That was an NOS piece in the box when I bought it. Wow. Um, it, it has an Anson valve cover. Uh, it was just neat 50 speed equipment on it. How about the exhaust? Uh, I, I made that pipe for it. Oh, did uh, you? Yeah, uh, put welded that all together. Uh, Nickel plated it. I didn't want to put paint on it or chrome it because ours is not worthy of chrome. No, uh, no. But I did a little nickel plate to keep it from rusting yeah. in there. And it, you know, it obviously blew it up and changed colors. You can see the different color line right here. That's because it's where the baffle starts. Okay. Otherwise, well, you know, that gives it a cool look. Yeah, though. yeah. It's neat. Uh, you know, it, I run this thing strong and hard. It's got a, a very uh, rare Wicko Mag Model X Magneto. Uh, and what makes it rare is uh, Wicko made a lot of magnetos for the four bangers yeah. and the four cylinders and, and a lot of industrial stuff. But this particular mag uses an external coil. I, was, I saw that there. Yeah, I was yeah, trying to figure uh, that out. And, 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 you know, obviously he's got the, you know, the port here for plugging this, the uh, coil wire into all the others. And I have a bunch of them. Uh, or all internal coils. But this one runs real strong. That, again, was another NOS piece I bought years ago. Uh, Where do you guys find all this stuff? You know, it's eBay. <laughs> it's a wonderful thing for yeah, the car hobby. It is, it is. Uh, and, and, you know, we, we go out to Carlisle uh, and to Hershey swap meets. And, and just and, dig through and everything. And we spend days out there and just, just search for people's junk. And, you, you know, you, you find beautiful things out there once in a while. And it's just, it's just part of the fun of hot rodding. Yeah, man, you know? this is this is cool. Yeah, it's neat. Uh, you know, it's got the, obviously the, the Raider wheels. Obviously on it. the Raider wheels. Yeah, right? gotta have the theme. Uh, Rich calls these graders because I don't polish them. <laughs> and uh, I, I had to make wheel adapters and so on for them. That is a Wicko tachometer. Uh, again, they put those out. They were used on boats and, believe it or not, police cars. Wow. Uh, so it, it kind of matches the Magneto. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I've got a, a Mitchell. Uh, it's a Model A transmission, but it's a Mitchell version, which has synchro second and third gear. Oh, wow. So it makes it a lot more fun driving it. And I've got my nice uh, Mexican seat covers. Very nice. They work and, fine. You know, a little bit of rust, but I don't think you're probably going to dress that either. No, not now. It's a later date. I've got two other projects I'm working on. So once they're together, I may decide to do something. You know, but right now, I, I love it the way it is. It's, I, it's, you know, it's got character. It's got character. Yeah, yeah. Like, like most of the people in this club. It's got uh, character. Yeah, we all have a unique you have, things about each of us. And yeah, that. <laughs> that's a nice way to put yeah, it. Yeah. No respect. None, none at all. <laughs> cool, man. 31. Excellent. Love it, man. Well, Rich, it's great to see you again. I mean, the first time uh, I met you was actually at the World Famous Hot Rod Party for the Wild Hot Rod Party. And you had the, the Green Pilot, yeah, which is my, just a magnificent car. Thank you, my 48. That's just, oh, I love that car. This is, <laughs> this is insane. When I saw this from afar, I thought, oh, it's a Rambler. It's not. And plus, the steering wheel's on the wrong side. Yeah. At least in my book. So, <laughs> this is a, a Cortina, Ford Cortina, right? Ford Cortina, what they call a Mark I Cortina. And you've had um, this since? Uh, I think it was 74, 75. It was my first car. I was still in high school. So, it was my high school Like car. over in England? In England. Um, and I started hot rodding way back in the early 70s. And then we did a five inch roof chop on it. Well, so, you've done some, I mean, so you've done some work on yeah, this thing. Yeah, I had it many, many years. And was hot riding that big in 73 back in England? It was. Oh, yeah, right, it really? really kicked in. Wow. It, it was going pretty good in the 60s. And then um, for me, 70s, it really kicked in. So you did all sorts of cutting and chopping up here too. Yeah. Not only did you chop it here, but you had to, what else have you done? Well, when, you, when we chop, you change the aperture of the windshield. So rather than lay the windshield back, we chopped the roof straight down the middle. Yeah and then straight across that way, added in three inches here and about five inches here, and then welded it all back together and then leaded it out. It's easier to make the, the steel fit the glass than vice versa. Yeah, glass doesn't bend that No, well. it doesn't. Yeah, really, really. All that chopping and sectioning and leading and everything, 73-ish, around 73. Yeah. Uh, no, I'd say the chopping was probably around 75. Um, and then we were playing with different engines, different gearboxes, and then uh, we had uh, put the axle in the front and this, this is a whole, this whole nose tilts, and I, I cut the whole front of the car off, done away with the inner fenders and everything, I designed a... Dude, can you tilt it or is it oh, latched down? It's just a dead side. <laughs> and you don't have the Daimler in here anymore, what's, what's the engine? We changed it out to the 250 now head, which is the Rover V8. Oh, like from the SP250, that, that Hemi? That, yes. Oh, that's an interesting engine. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah It's yeah, real beautiful. steep and really funny carburation system and everything. Two SU carburetors, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, lovely yeah. little engine. You had it over there, but you brought it over. How'd you get over here anyway? Uh, come over in 2000, had an opportunity to move to the States. Yeah. And, and then a dream. met up with these guys? Yes. Wow. Of all the places I come to New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> but I love it. I love Jersey. I love the people. Yeah, it's man. It's great. And well, I love the guys in the club are just 
so much fun. Well, this this is a, I mean, this is a wild car, but you came rolling in in this blue bomb over here. I love yeah. this. Let's, go, let's check this baby okay. out. You know, there's a lot to look at here. There really is. And you know, not least of which, of course, the engine. But but I think what caught my eye when, when you came in was the roof on this car. This is a 34. This is 34. But, you, but it, it's, it's a, a solid uh, steel roof. Yeah, this was a, this is factory built. Most of them came with the canvas insert. Right. Because Henry couldn't produce them with one piece. This was made for export only. They were exported to South America and South Africa. Uh, I found this in Argentina. Uh, just the body and shipped it back and purely because I wanted it with a one point a one piece steel roof uh, because it the, looks, the compound I mean, it just is correct looks awesome yeah it is it is and they also they did 32s as well we, we really can't find out why um, Henry had them done but he did and all for export and export all to only. South America South, South Africa South Africa South America how many do you think they did I would say a couple of hundred because they do but show up. Really? Yeah, they do show up. Well, then, and then of course you slapped in. What, 331, 331? Hemi. Yeah, it's a smaller one of the two because it's got runs a 39 um, Ford top loader trans, three speed. 392 would just smash it to pieces. Having said that, I'm on my third trans and my second <laughs> rear. So, <laughs> you know. So, and, and uh, the manifold setup, and I mean, are you running all six of those? Yeah, all six, all six run. I idle on the center two and the other four are on progressive. Uh, they all run, you can tell, because they leak. Yeah, right. Yeah. And uh, this is the X3 Edelbrook manifold, which is um, pretty hard to come by. I think I was told they made 50 of them. Wow. So and how, is that polished? Is it, yes. Okay. Yeah, you tap on my fingers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no nails They used left. to be a lot longer, right? Yeah. <laughs> and these are, these are pretty honking buckets, too. Headlight yeah, buckets. this was a, a Carlisle find. Uh, there were 20 bucks, and I just we're in a terrible bucks. shape or not a brand new in a box you're kidding no nope. and brand for 20 new bucks in a box for 20 bucks i offered him 15. <laughs> <laughs> but i paid 20. i would have taken 20. yeah i know <laughs> i wasn't thinking oh this i mean this is beautiful she's I, mean, I love i love the pilot the cortina is great but yeah. this is just and it's the roof i mean all of it's great but the roof is so good yeah the roof was a lot of work and you i mean you actually have a shop nearby too right yep you know mostly cars for myself and a few other little bits and pieces like this. Just, just, for, the, just for the yeah, fun, right? Just for the fun. Pretty fun bunch to hang out with here. Oh He's... my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's an understatement. You've been to our show. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> this is just a small snippet of the the cars yeah, well, and the fun. Well, this is the club. This is as big as some car shows, and it's just oh a club, God, and it's yeah. not all the club cars either. No, we've we're about thirty nine forty today. We we've, we've probably still got fifteen twenty at home. It's so we've cool. got a lot of cars under construction right now. I love um, it, man. Yeah, it's good, Dennis. It's good fun. Very cool. Very yep. cool, Rich. Good Thanks, show. Dennis. Well, Johnny, this is cool. 57 Chevy. And you're like the newest member of the club, is that right? Long time friends, uh, but about a year and a half ago, uh, you became. I became an official Dead Man's Curve. Official Dead Man's Curve. Member. What an honor. Yeah, it is. It actually is. It actually it, it really is. is it is. They're a great bunch of guys. And this is a great car. This is an interesting Thank you. car. Um, you know, one of the things that, that, that I noticed right off the bat was the teardrop hood. I mean, that's a kind of a classic Ford hood, performance oh. hood, and you put it on a Chevy. Always Do you loved. get some crap for that? No, I don't. No, really no, no, I really don't. Uh, a lot of you know, a lot of people say, "Wow, it's it's different." And I just try to do different things, like the flames and the hood, and uh, yeah, man, I think always cool. loved the uh, the uh, hoods. So I decided to put one on after I saw it on a '55 Chevy uh, at another show. So what's under the hood? I have a '396, '69 '396. Oh, dressed up pretty nice too. Yeah, did a little bit of pinstriping uh, on the valve covers. Uh, used to be a lot of chrome, but I kind of detuned it a little and went this route. Um, Did it fit in okay? Yeah, one thing with these here, I didn't use motor mounts. I used a Hearst motor mount in the front. So it gave me room to oh, okay. pull it forward and I never oh, had to dimple the, wow, uh, the firewall cool. or anything. So it fit right in with plenty wow. of room, yeah. Well then, yeah, I mean, you know, you, you got, you, you, it's not a gasser. I'm, I'm shocked. I mean, you're not yeah. sitting up three feet. Yeah, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. <laughs> I may raise the nose up a little. Uh, we got some ball, uh, ball joint spacers that'll be done down the road. Yeah. But um, I'm also got another project coming up, so 
I mean, um, really, I mean, this is a, you know, one of the more tame looking cars here. Yeah. And, yeah, it, and it's not definitely. that tame. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's uh, got a 400 automatic in it with a um, 12 bolt posi out of a Nova in the rear. And of course, uh, slicks and Raider wheels. Of and course. It's just a good driver. I've driven, I've had this now 31 years this month. No kidding. Yeah. So and you and you've known these guys forever. So you've been coming. Yeah, to the, I've been very good friends with, with with Rich since like, God, '79, about a year after uh, he formed the club, and I just got to know the guys year after year. And I've been up here. I come up here a lot to help uh, Rich, and uh, yeah. And then uh, after a while, I was an associate member, and then uh, about a year and a half ago, uh, right in one of the barns, they. Uh, they officially uh, is it, made is me it, a is member. It, is, it like, is it like the secret ceremony, this cabal? Well, it's like, you know, I, you use the word, I was made, you know? <laughs> it's like one of those things, but it's just a great bunch of guys. For we sure. have passion for cars. And uh, yeah, and I just, I take it everywhere. I drive it everywhere. She's beautiful, it's a good man. driver. Thank you very Shiny much. Yeah. I got another, 210, right? 210. that's a 210 Sport Coupe. And they made 22,000 uh -huh. of that body style. They were supposed to be Bel Airs. The, mar they, the, the sales were dropping back then. I had met up with a guy from Terrytown. Yeah. He was a worker there. So they said, well, let's do something with the no post. So they said, why don't we make it a 210 and put Sport Coupe on it? And they produced 22,000 of these. Because the Bel Airs didn't have this, did they? Bel Air had all the way to here. Okay, that's, that's And the right. insert. Uh-huh. Okay. And then the 210, it kept mm. it a, sh a short arm and uh, just Chevrolet on it. So nice. I filled it in with some, some nice. flames. Shining, nice. Yeah. 396. Thank you. Thank uh, but you. next time, that front end needs to be higher. Y you're right. <laughs> I'm, I got another project uh, working on um, doing a, a 1927 Model T. And you like a shop, your place, or just no, just, no, oh, right here, right here, at, the, here. Uh, at the farm. Yeah. yeah it's so. a beautiful thing. Thank you very much. I appreciate <laughs> Thanks, it. Sean. Yeah, definitely. Uh, hmm. Uh, Alex, this is a this is a real sweetheart. Now, you're actually one of Rich's sons. You grew up right here on the world famous hot rod farm right yeah and this has been in the fam for almost 100 years yeah yeah 100 years this year so so 1916 same year as the car and this is a 1916 yes sir what is this it is a maxwell touring car really i mean I, this isn't maxwell gauging no no that's, that's you just tricked this up but yes. this was a maxwell tour, two door touring car it was a four door oh okay um there was a tree that grew through the middle of it, so we, mm. we didn't have the middle section, so we just kind of shortened it up. It just so happened that the back doors lined up with the front cow, <laughs> and uh, it fits pretty nicely on the Model A chassis. This is something that you just created out of bits and pieces in the, in the barn, yeah, right? Yeah, just out of spare parts we had laying around for the most part. So what's the engine? 250? 283. 283! My goodness, this is 283. Yeah, it was at an Impala Super Sport we had here. The car was totally rotted to the ground, but it still ran and drove. So we, there, there we pulled the motor out. And what are these from? The headers. Um, my dad found them at a swap meet. They were off an old dragster. And they fit, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they work. It goes with the car, you know. So, um, you've just hacked this stuff together. How long have you had it in, in the current condition? Uh, I think about four or five years. Oh now. no, kidding. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, take it to a couple shows. I don't go too far, you know. I wouldn't do this but it, either. <laughs> it, it actually rides way nicer than it looks. You know really? What I mean? It does. I'll, I'll tell you that much. What was it? What was it like uh, growing up here? It's very interesting. I thought it was very, very, interesting. very, very interesting. different. <laughs> you know, um, everything was about cars and horsepower and motors and metal working and whatever else. You know. Oh, it sounds like a pretty good time to me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so in 1916. Maxwell two-door touring car, 283 Chev, Maxwell headlights, Model A grill shell, dragster headers. I mean, just bits and pieces from everywhere, right? Yeah, that about sums it about, up. Just about sums it up. <laughs> Thanks, Alex. Way Thank cool. You. Well, Larry, this is probably one of the tamest vehicles here. I'm the conservative one of the group. <laughs> Are you the, the anchor on that on that wing yeah, of the group? Some days, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what do we have? We got a... 71 Chevy pickup, small block, automatic. Just very clean. cleaned up. Very exit. clean. Yeah. yeah. And dropped down a bit. Yeah, lowered all the way through. Which, you know, uh, most things here are raised. This group likes them high. Yeah, but you're just being a contrarian here? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got to have an anchor somewhere. Got to have it. So how long you had this? Uh, probably about five or six years. 
And this was something you just wanted to, you, you wanted this look? You wanted the, the well, clean, low? I'm into these pickup trucks. I do a lot of them. This one I bought actually as a parts truck. When I started taking it apart, it turned out it was too good to break up for pieces, so uh -huh. I ended up doing it. So you did the interior up really nice, too. I mean, it's the houndstooth upholstery and, and the, the embossed door panels. I mean, Yeah, a little upgrading. There are 72 panels in a 71 truck. They're a nicer style. Yeah. And the houndstooth, probably not original in the truck, but it just gives it a little more pizzazz. Yeah, it looks really nice. I mean, it's it's, it's all it's all very blue. It's very. It's yeah. like, you don't like blue. You're no, not gonna you're like not this gonna truck. Like this truck you're like, I'm surprised this isn't your title yeah, color. Yeah, blue. yeah, right. Yeah, I have a little contrast. <laughs> Matches the tires. Did you do this work at your place or you do it here? No, I do. I've got my own barn. And I do my own work. This, okay. This is a hobby. So you just uh, build different I things. Build and... cars, build hot rods, and stuff like for, you know, just just for fun. It's kind of what all you guys do. It's what exactly we're all doing. We all got our own garages at home, all set up and ready to go. <laughs> you guys live this life, don't oh, you? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, we've been in it all our lives, and it's right from the beginning. There are worse things to blow a bunch of money on. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah. you can blow a bunch of money Ooh, on. Oh boy, and it's getting worse. It's tough to keep <laughs> these things on the road and build them. No doubt about it. It looks great though. Seventy-one Chevy. Chevy. Very nice. Thank you. Well, this is cool. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, Dave, what, what are we looking at? What year? This is a 34 Ford cab. Uh, it's a real steel cab. Bought it as a kind of an abandoned project. Came out of, out of Tennessee from Jason Graham Hot Rods. He, Jason Graham was working this? Yeah, this was Jason Graham. Went, was built, started buildings for somebody, and he got transferred in the Army, I believe, or Air Force. Oh, so that, that's what ended the project. Yeah. And so he just he wanted and, to get and, rid and of it. And it's, this car actually came out of a shop about a week before the shop burned down. Oh, Which, really? Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> weird, but that's another story. But anyway, it's a completely custom-built chassis. It's uh, you know, drop beam. It's a 396, uh, 350 horsepower stock, and then I did it over. Wow. The pipes are handmade. So, I mean, you, you, you do that kind of with the guys here? Or you... uh, yeah, I, I build all my own stuff, and so I drive got, it all. Yeah, you got every, a shop and stuff? Yeah, and... My, I, it's all built in my house over in, in, uh, in North Jersey. <laughs> you're a man. <laughs> Thanks. And you just do this for this, you're just doing this for yourself. This I, is just for I'm fun. In, I'm in the asphalt business, so I get paid three or four months vacation every year. So <laughs> Called I sit, winter? Yes. So I sit in the garage <laughs> and I build hot rods. You have to come see my new one, what's going on, but that's man. another story. So 396, but, you don't see that used a lot in, in I, these. I love big, I put big blocks in everything. Yeah. Big blocks. It's a a full manual Freddie Brown Turbo 400. Uh, you, you have to shift it. There's no drive. By the way, these tires are ridiculous. Yeah, I couldn't find any bigger ones, so. <laughs> and they still don't hook it. It's basically just all business. It's Dana 60, 410 Posi. It's a four link. Oh, what a cool look. And it, it just, it works. Uh, I run like blazing the tires down the track, like low eights in the eighth mile. Absolutely really? loose all over the place. It's something I, I drive when I can. It's it's fun, you know, but it, it is driven, you know. Now, have you got these baffled at all? Or? Right now, I, there's a muffler in each one, yeah. Okay. When, when I run it, I take them out. When they're open, the way the cab is set up, you have to wear earplugs or a helmet. It's it's deafening. It's I believe deafening. it. And the front wheels, I mean, classic. Yeah, it's just a, Raider. Yeah, classic look, Raider, too. you know, 12 spokes. And is that an, is that an old... Uh, high, That's uh, an old wind. Yeah, it's all old stuff. I build all my stuff out of junk. Where'd you find the stuff? I collect forever I've been collecting I got so much stuff I could build four more cars out of my basement my gosh so you know you know these guys for a long time you... yeah too long too long yeah. <laughs> too long we have a lot of fun you know <laughs> and this this is where I mean this is not air or anything she no. just sits this low that's if uh, you saw you didn't I, make I it out of the out barn yeah no. <laughs> I had to back out I knew that was gonna happen or you would leave an oil pan there it, this is my kind of my beater you know it's got attitude and it can it's be got, driven and it's got attitude you know? that's for sure of course that's most of the clubs clubs got attitude yeah i love it thank you very much cool you know gas or vets i just it, does, it just doesn't seem to go together usually but for you guys it does well corvette people hate you <laughs> right <laughs> I, off the I bat i believe that <laughs> and especially what i mean this is 53 54 what is 54. it 54 yeah, they definitely hate yeah. you. <laughs> they totally hate you. But it's fun to be hated. Yeah, right. <laughs> so how much vets left? It's got a Corvette interior in it. The only thing that's been changed, it has 12 volt gauges. I have the original convertible top for so, it. So I mean, you really haven't touched the body. No, I mean, nothing's been cut. A tiny bit of uh, inner fender for the header. I have the original axle, and the way that uh, Rich and I installed it, it can be put back in. What's the engine? Uh, it's a 355 actually bored out. It was built by Big Al's Toy Box. 
just for, yeah. just for me, uh, being a member of Dead Man's Curve, being a friend of Rich's, uh, he didn't put his advertisement on it because we told him we were going to kind of showcase Rich's wheels, the Raider wheels and the Raider slicks. And I love how your header's up and, up and over and down. They're down and through, yeah, and they, they see they got to go around the steering. I, I know, you wove, they're, they're woven made, around yeah, the steering. They were made around the steering, yeah. That's in fact, you I have to have the column out to put them in, don't you? No, they, they do come apart. Oh, they do, okay. Yeah, they come apart to get it in there, but... It's uh, crazy. Oh, yeah, it's I see. A, yeah, it's a fun car to drive, and uh, we and just... With, and you still have a single master cylinder brake. Oh, yeah, Damn. yeah, you don't worry about it. Does anybody You're can stop. <laughs> I'm just interested in going. It's insane. So was it, did you build it at your place or did you build a lot of it here? I built all of it down South Jersey. Uh, friends, I actually sent the body to uh, Young's uh, Fiberglass, which is a boat guy. I figured if he could make a 40-foot boat he look could nice, probably he do, could do this. Yeah, the body style of 53 and 4 was so wild. Yeah, well, that's why I kept it. All I did was raise the front end, and basically everything else is Corvette, and uh, I've kept it Corvette. This isn't where the exhaust comes out, is it? Yes, it is. Originally. Yeah, originally, They're, but now my, you're just dropping, it out, the, the side, yeah, you're dropping yes. it out the side. But I, I, I didn't close off the holes because I didn't want to change anything for the Corvette. Right. That's the way the Corvette was. The clear license plate, that's Corvette. Everything's the way it was for Corvette. Yeah, you know, the Corvette guys might forgive you. I don't know. Yeah, it's, no, they, no, they, they, they don't. don't. <laughs> they hate me. I go to shows. <laughs> totally hate you. <laughs> they, they get out with their little yellow chairs, with their yellow car, with their yellow shirt. This says what year car they got. And I come in, they can't hear, and they get all upset. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got a black car, you got a black here shirt. Here comes that know. guy from Dead Man's Curb. <laughs> <laughs> Those derelicts, I don't know. Those hooligans. No, it's, that, it, it, that's pretty cool, man. Yeah. I was inspired by Dead Man's Curb. I've been oh, hanging out with these guys for... Too long. Over 20 years, Man. yeah. And in fact, I used to drink when I started hanging out with them. <laughs> and that's been a while. I and it's a pretty, pretty fun bunch of guys to hang out with. Uh, we always have fun, and the club is based on friends first. And yeah. really, I mean, anybody will help you, and that's why I like it. I drive a little bit. It's a small group. You know, it's it, you can't just say, hey, I want to be a member. You know, you got to be accepted you got to show yeah. three thousand dollars worth of beer receipts or something <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i respect that <laughs> but, cool uh, man no Very it's cool. a, i uh, been a close friend of rich conklin's and yeah well, and, she, and, and this baby sounds great man thank you thank you cool chuck thank Way you cool. very much 54 vet yeah and they hate you they hate me. <laughs> you. so june you've been with the club quite a while yes 1983. so not long after it's it's creation in yes, 78. 78. And, and you've been hanging with this, this bunch of derelicts ever since? Since then. Wow. Yeah, it still am. So this is yours? Yes. It's a 1927-26 steel body, Model A frame, 1953 317 Lincoln. Really? Yep. A 317 Lincoln? 317 Lincoln. Well, I saw, I saw the, the, the Lincoln valve covers. I figured yeah. that was just it's your real. joking. It's no, real. It's real. The gentleman I bought a pile of parts from actually had the engine. Um, wow. And how about the manifold? The same old Edmund? thing. Mark, uh, the gentleman I bought the car from. He had from, that too. He had the, oh, uh, he's very much into collecting vintage speed well, equipment. That, that's from? Mm -hmm, 50s. Mean, 50s, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Edmunds, yep. And how about the carbs? They're Holly 1900 series teapots. You know, this has got some uh, interesting stuff on so it. This is sort of a uh, sleeper. You, you know, look at this. Oh, yeah, it's nice all kind of red pickup. vintage, yep. Dual point distributor, the Mallory ignition system. So this um, thing's probably pretty strong, actually. I haven't blown it up yet. <laughs> <laughs> You've tried, though, I would uh, imagine. We've run it a little bit. It's been on the road for a while. I've driven it quite far. I'd uh, like the... Uh, Schlitz, uh, my Schlitz shifter. shifter yeah, yeah, I've had that for a collection of years. Is this is this Merck? That's 40 Ford. Oh, it's 40 Ford. 40 Ford okay. dash, cut in half, narrowed it. Quite a lot. Uh, yep. Got the radio with Lincoln horn button. Lincoln, early 50s. I like 51, that. 51, 52. How does it drive? Will it drive very well? Uh, hands off. It'll go fine. It'll go straight. Yeah, I have no, I have no issues. <laughs> it's very reliable. I, I have to say, I have driven it quite far. And you've, uh, you've, you've had it to all the uh, Dead Man's Curve events, mm, I'm sure. Even before I even started building it, I first brought it out when I had a pile of parts, and we brought it out the first year. And, uh, <laughs> this will be a started. car someday. That's exactly what happened, <laughs> yep. So Lincoln engine, yep. Model T body, body, or the cab you want to sit yeah. in, yep. And it's you a, fab the, 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 it's the bed? It's a Model A bed, yeah. We oh, cut about is? a little over a foot out of it. 
It's technically a touring car cut in half. Is it a lot of fun? I enjoy it very much. <laughs> I think I, I enjoy it. I think I would too. Uh, we might have to go out for a spin in that later. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm game. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. You're very welcome. Very cool, man. So, Andy, I met you years ago uh, at a show, and you had that insane 61 Pioneer wagon, and I was like, whoa. What is that thing? Then you built this even more insane bubble top fury. I was like, what is that? And that's when I realized I really had to get to know this club better because you guys are, are totally crazy. So you brought those two and three more today, like this vet. This is a 60 out of all the cars that I have. My wife and I enjoy this one the best. We go out in it all the time. We put a lot of miles on this every year. I'm glad you got the, the hood off because it's this manifold that just, I just think is awesome. What is that? It's a Offenhauser intake manifold. Uh, it's a regular two four barrel intake manifold and these pieces came and they bolt on. These two cross ram type pieces. Yeah. And it came with all the linkage and and these studs. Um, I altered it a little bit because the original studs that it came with, they were, believe it or not, just aluminum that were threaded into there. Whew, and they couldn't work. they couldn't withstand it. They they would they yeah. would make play. So I actually drilled them out and I actually put nuts underneath and, and they're steel bolts, oh, wow. hardened bolts. Um, so there's no play in it now. And it works good, it works really good. It's, um, a, it's a wild look. Yeah, this is a 327. Originally the, this uh, 1960 VET came with a 283, but this is a 65 Corvette 327 that's been built um, and it, it moves. So, and you, so this is like the one you dig? This yeah, really yeah dig this, this is the one you can just hop in and go on a nice day um, and it moves. <laughs> well, you've got, you, you got that crazy little, 61 Rambler over there, which I'm sure you're going to do something with because it's pretty stock. That, you, that's a time you warp. Just, you might just leave it, huh? That's a time warp but, there. But what you brought is this, your real fine 509. <laughs> I, I saw this rolling in and this really sounded healthy. And you got a 409 crossed out 509. I saw it come in. The first thing I said, oh, it's a 348, you know, because the valve covers and everything. Right, right. But, oh, no, it's 409. Oh, no, it's not a 409. It's a 509. And then, and then some. So what's the engine? Uh, it's a 509 all aluminum. It's an aluminum block. Which started as a 409 and was bored out or what? Yes, it started really? as a 409 and it was bored out. Um, the intake manifold uh, is a one of a kind. I've never seen another one uh, like it. There's a, there was a company called Custom UFAB back in the 60s and it was sold as a kit. And everything was apart. All they gave you was a piece of sheet metal that was bent to the angle of the heads and they gave you tubes and they gave you a piece of pipe for the distributor and you had to put everything together. Really? Yeah, I found it on eBay totally together, but when I got it, it looked like a hunk of junk. And I brought it to the, to the Cromer, he took it all apart, redid it all, and it really came out really nice. So this is, I mean, did you just finish this thing or have you had this for a while? Uh, I had it on the road last year and then I blew the front seal out of a Turbo 400 and decided to put a five-speed Tremec manual trans in. So I just got it back on the road and, and now I can really feel the power with the manual trans. I, I just, um, I love the mirror firewall. Yeah. Oh yeah, man. Stainless firewall. A, now this, it's got two engines in it. Look, it's, yeah, got, it's yeah. got two engines. <laughs> now this car has um, a lot of value to the car club because this car was owned by one of the members who passed away, mm. uh, Bill. I call, I call it the, the, the two Bill car because both guys that passed away were named Bill. They were in the car club. One Bill owned the car. The other Bill built the 409 that was originally in it. And now I put the 509. So I call it the two Bills car. Um, well, yeah, it's, it's so cool that you guys, well, you guys are a crazy bunch of guys anyway, but to, to get bring everybody together, you know, 40 cars, it's not even all of them. But I mean, there are car shows that don't have this many cars. This is just the cars that you guys have. And you yeah. all have, you know, pretty much you all have shops. You all work and stuff all the time. Yeah, some of the shops uh, are, are pretty cool. Yeah, some of the cars are pretty cool. <laughs> Andy, you got to take me for a ride. All right. <laughs> you sure? Real fine. <laughs> you sure? Now. Yeah, well, no, let me think about that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, hanging with the Dead Man's crew, guys, is an absolute blast. And I'm always thrilled to come away in one piece. Check out their shows. Joyzy. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. At this time, we'd like to, on behalf of the whole Dead Man's Curve Car Club. Oh my goodness. We would like to present this to you. 
and a sticker. A sticker? <laughs> We'd like you to be an honorary member of the oh. Dead Man's Cove Car Club. Dig this. Huh? What do you think? <laughs> Dig this. Honorary member of the Dead Man's Cove Club. All right. All right. All right. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, man!